In this video, I'm going to show you how to add touch controls for your first person or third person shooter game like this here. So yeah, let's get started. So here I have set up this awesome scene which is all thanks to this industrial asset spec that I downloaded from the asset store. The awesome part is that it's completely free and optimized for mobile devices also with a full 5 star rating all thanks to this guy Dmitry Kutsenko. So go ahead and download this, I'll drop a link to this in the description. Alright back to Unity now. You'll get this sample scene here all ready to go. Pretty cool, right? Anyways, so let's go to the let's go to the standard asset spec now. And let's go to characters. You can either choose between third person or first person. Let's go to FPS for, for this one. And inside of the prefabs, we are going to drag and drop this FPS controller inside of our scene. And our FPS controller comes with a camera so we can just disable this or delete this from the scene. And if we drop this, we can see the camera here. One thing you need to make sure is that the tag is set to main camera here. Click the FPS controller. So this has a bunch of settings here that you can tweak around. But make sure that is walking is set to true. We will look into these other settings later on. For now we can just try to run the game. So let's go ahead and hit play, see if everything's working just fine. Alright, so I can look around and also move around using the mouse and keyboard input. And I can also jump if I press the spacebar. So we just need to replace these controls with our touch controls. And to make your life even more easier, I've got a great asset pack for all our touch related needs. So this here is one of my all-time favorite asset pack available on asset store. And it is completely free. All thanks to this fella, Suleiman Yasser. This pack has got everything from steering wheel to joystick controls to d-pad, just name it. So links in the description like always. Alright, so first we need to create a canvas. So UI, canvas. And now we need to go inside of the prefabs folder here. And we got a bunch of choices here. And we're gonna drag and drop this joystick inside of the canvas. Alright. And it looks a bit tiny so let's so let's bump up the size here. So let's select the joystick. And I'm gonna go for 250 by 250. Looks good. Also let's increase the size of the thumb here. Let's try 120 by 120. Alright, this looks good. Also, let's place it somewhere around here. Maybe drag it up a bit. Alright, so now in order for this to work, we need to select the FPS controller. And we need to open up this FPS controller script here. Let's double click to open this up inside of Visual Studio. And here we need to find the input code. So I believe it is at the end of this script. It has to be down here. Okay, so here it is. And all we need to do is simply replace this input with our simple input class here. Awesome, so yeah, that's it. Let's hit save and head back inside of Unity. You could play around with these settings if you want, but for now I'm just gonna keep them as is. And let's try to play this out. And for some reason it doesn't work. But the solution to this is pretty simple. Let's close this. And open up this mouse look drop down here. And all we need to do is disable this lock cursor. Alright, so now let's try this again. And now we can move around using this joystick. Awesome. But we also need to be able to look around using the touch controls and not the mouse input. And in order to do that, 
we need to add another joystick like this one here but first let's make a but first let's make a jump button for our player so let's go inside of the canvas let's make a ui button let's make it a bit bigger dy 150 looks good also place it at the bottom right corner delete the text here and let's drag this up a bit somewhere around here also let's change the sprite here to you can either choose this one or you can go up and select this one here i like this one better so i'm gonna go with this also let's bump up the size so 180 by 180 all right and let's call this one jump button also we need to add an on click event on this one and drag and drop our fps controller and now we need to make a public method inside of the fps controller script so let's open it up and we need to find the jump input so it must be somewhere at the top all right here it is maybe up here let's make a new public method public void jump and all that's happening here is when we hit the spacebar we set this and jump boolean to true if it is false so we can just copy and copy this piece of code and paste this inside of inside of our jump method so let's copy this and paste it inside of a jump method and all we need to do here is instead of this we will just set this directly to true all right so when we call this method this is gonna set the jump variable to true so back to unity let's set up the jump method inside of the fps controller jump and let's test this out now we can now move around and jump using the touch controls awesome so all that's left here is to add something so that we can use it to look around so let's exit the play mode here for now we can just use this joystick to look around so let's go inside of the canvas and let's duplicate this joystick we'll call this one look joystick it doesn't really matter and let's change the position of this joystick let's first zoom out and I'm gonna place this somewhere over the top of our jump button maybe here here looks good all we can do is to move this jump button over and place this down here and move this down a bit all right here looks fine now the most important part here is to make sure that these values here are not the same with the other joystick. So let's change this one to mouse X and for the Y axis we'll type in mouse Y. Okay so now let's open up the standard assets pack. Inside of the characters, first person character scripts and and we need to open up this mouse look script here okay so all we need to change here is these two lines of code like we already did with the movement input so let's just change this input to simple input here so let's call it simple input class and this one too let's just replace this with simple input and also we need to replace these mouse X with, with the value that we set for our jo look joystick. So mouse X and mouse Y. I know it doesn't sound right but trust me to work. And have X side of unity. You could also change these settings if you want but for now we're not gonna change anything. So let's just go ahead and hit play now. Alright so we can move around. We can jump. And if we drag this and now we can also look around using this look joystick awesome right 
we just need to play around with some of the look settings as you can see the moment is a bit jittery at the moment so in order to smooth the doubt we can enable this to apply smoothness to our cam follow let's try this out it's kind of okay but if you want to make this slow or maybe fast so you just need to change the smooth lower values are smoother and the higher values are a bit tighter so as you can see it's kind of very slow so let's put in 10 so 10 seems to be a pretty good value for our game alright so that's it for this video if you find this helpful please smash that subscribe button so you can see more of these videos Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.